Hello everyone, I'm Fola Badi Abitogun from Nigeria. Um, I currently work as a researcher at University College Hospital Ibadan here in Nigeria. And I'm so glad to be here today to present um, the findings of my current um, study with you all um, titled Drug Target Exploration in Hypervirulent Clepsular Pneumonia Strains. And I, um, I hope it to be an enlightening session. So what are these strains, what are they? They are an emerging subtype of Kleb pneumonia and they are defined by presence of many different biomarkers such as um, plasmid, the viral, um, plasmids that carry genes responsible for aerobactin biosynthesis, genes that carry the RMPA the, and RMPA2 capsule mucor regulators. In this um, picture here, you can see a mucoid string. This string is um, above 5 mm in length. This is one of the initial identification means of this particular strain. However, this is not um, definitive. Like I said, there are many different biomarkers that are used to identify, to have a definitive identification of this particular strain wherever they are, um, they are found. So these strains are, they are known to cause severe diseases um, like liver abscesses, meningitis, even um, severe inflammatory and invasive infections such as um, sepsis. Now, one of the um, um, dangerous feature of this particular um, strain is the rapid evolution and development of um, confluence of hypervirulence, multidrug resistance, and ESB resistance amongst many other resistance. Um, 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 feature. So, this particular um, picture here is a plasmid carrying both hypervirulent um, biomarkers like the RMP and RMPA2 and the others um, painted in blue, as well as a beta lactam resistance gene. So, this is one of the features of this particular strain arboring um, resistance genes as well as a prevalence biomarker um, on a single plasmid and this has um, caused the failure of um, available antibiotics to effectively treat them so and currently there is a wide global dissemination of this particular strain although they are uh, the reports have been coming in mainly from china there have been other reports in many other countries like the us in germany the uk Saudi Arabia, in India, in Singapore, in Italy, and even here in Africa. Because currently in my laboratory, there's a particular strain in which um, the hypermucoviscous um, st um, string was identified. Current um, study is, is going on apparently on the particular strain to ascertain if it is um, a prevalent strain or not. So as a result of this um, failure of antibiotics and the rapid Semination and evolution of the particular strain. This um, study is is aimed at um, exploring the hypothetical uh, proteins of four different um, hypervirulence capsular pneumonia strains in order to um, identify novel drug targets and also identify vaccine candidates which will be effective in tackling these many. So here is um, the overall uh, workflow. Of this project, however, it is not yet conclusive, but this is how the project has been going so far. The sequence were retrieved retrieved from Uniprot, and they were put through different analysis to identify to ascertain their essentiality, their um, functions, the durability, and a host of other um, characteristics. So. Many of the analyses were done using bioinformatic resources like the Protein Blast, the Interpro for function, function prediction, the PFAM, the String Analysis, Drug Bank, and a host of others. And as you can see um, on this screen here, with the parameters with which I conducted each analysis, analysis, I found out that the proteum retrieved from Uniprot contained a total of 557 protein sequences, of which one of them were hypothetical proteins. 
Of these apothecary proteins, 20 of them were returned as essential and non-homologous to any human um, protein. This um, diagram here shows us the breakdown and the result of the screening up until a drug target was identified. So one um, protein wa was found to interact with 15 um, human um, proteins, 15 different human proteins. And this um, is quite important. If the particular protein um, interacts with so many um, human proteins, it shows how much of um, essentiality or importance it holds for the particular pathogen. And also, this particular protein showed a metabolic pathway activity, particularly the carbohydrate metaboli uh, metabolism. So, this particular protein was found to be um, to interact with um, different drugs in the drug bank database. So, this particular drug um, uh, protein is not um, um, a new novel. However, it can be subjected to further analysis. Because um, there is currently no no drug used against this particular pathogen, this particular strains. So I believe this particular protein can be used to um, develop um, drugs that have inhibitory activities that can inhibit this particular protein, considering its numerous. Um, functions and its um, important activity for the protein considering the interaction with too many different human proteins and its um, activity in metabolic um, pathways in human so one doctor was identified from this particular strain and this result shows the potential of the method used in this uh, particular um, experiment in identifying drug targets from the remaining strains which are currently being analyzed so, I believe completing this particular study will provide effective and reliable drug targets of vaccine candidates against the rising menace. It has been used um, effectively, particularly in developing the Bexero vaccine for Gubi meningococcus. So, it has also been used in um, um, bacterial such as the Shigella flexneri uh, proteins and their interactions with um, drugs known drugs in the drug bank database so i believe this particular project um will provide um information and data which will help in identifying the red drug target that can be to tackle this menace so much